So when you're being asked to solve problems or turn phrases into algebraic expressions, uh, converting them to words to numbers, we need to make sure that we have a strong grasp of terminology. So whenever we are being given an addition problem, they're going to be say added to some, um, you know, plus in addition terms like that. But generally, if you need to, if you needed to make a phrase out of an expression, the, the simplest, strongest word to use is sum. Okay. So you're saying find the sum of five and three. By using the word sum, you're saying add five and three. Okay. When, if you use the, if you have the phrase added to, if you said, if you had something that said like six added to 11, that means that you have to have 11 first before you can add that six to it. So we, you have to be trying to figure out in that phrase of, do we have a starting value that I'm either then putting more on it or taking from it? Um, and so if the six is being added to something, we need that something first before we're then saying plus six, okay? Um, if we have a subtraction problem, we are going to be the, the word that means the solution to a, subtract, a subtraction problem is difference. Okay, you can have subtracted from less than. Okay, um, less than. Might say minus, but you're not. You're rarely going to see minus because minus is not a very elevated way of saying a subtraction problem. If you use the term difference, just like with sum, you could say the difference of this and that. In that case, it's showing you the order. The difference of twelve and a number would be saying. 12 minus a number, the difference of 12 and a number. If we had a scenario where it said subtracted from, so if we had uh, 12 subtracted from a number, this would not be what we have. In order to take 12 from something, you know, and I, I visualize what it's asking me to take away. 12 subtracted from a number means I need a number first before I can then pull a value of 12 out of it. So 12 subtracted from a number is how you would convert that. Okay. We're not, it's not very, it's very simplistic. It's kind of an elementary way of saying a number minus x or uh, a number minus 12. And we just say the difference of a number and 12, okay? It technically means subtraction, but it's not a very eloquent, respected way of saying it. Um, just like saying plus, it's like five plus three. Well, yeah, but it's like saying three added to five um, or, it, it, and you're rarely ever going to see in addition, that would have to be like a story problem or being being kind of weird like that. Um, the words that mean multiplication, okay? So you would, when you're being asked to multiply, well, we'll just use the traditional X, but this does not mean X as a variable. This means X as in multiplication. The solution to a multiplication problem is called a product, okay? So if you were being asked to find the product of three and a number, you're being asked to multiply three by a number, which in this case, because we don't know what it is, we use the variable X, okay? Uh, you could say times, okay? Three times a number. Um, you can have multiplied by, okay? Um, and no matter what the order it says, you could have um, a number multiplied by 11. Technically, that would be saying you have a number that is then being multiplied by 11, 
But in algebra, we do not write it like this. We don't ever use a multiplication term symbol, and we always put the coefficient or the number first. So this would need to be rewritten as 11x for it to count as a full credit term that you're, you're full, full points for writing it. This is a, you don't quite understand the rules of algebra um, to know that this is the proper format to say that. So this just shows, you know what you're doing? This says, you know what operation it's asking you for, and you know you should use a variable, but you don't know how to write it properly. So um, let's, let's show what we know, okay? Um, and then division. Okay, uh, you might also see the word like double or triple or twice a number or something like that. That would be the same thing as multiplying by two or multiplying by three. So the solution to a division problem is called the quotient. Okay. Quotient. Okay. All right. Um, you have a per divided by, and I will say this is the one occasion where we usually don't use the term for the answer of that type of operation. You could say the quotient of 12 and 2, so that would be saying 12 divided by 2, and in algebra we always write our division using a fraction bar to use proper formatting, and then you would be able to solve from there. Um, okay, um, there are... So generally, though, we would just go ahead and say a divided by, and it should be, um, it's pretty much going to go in order as it's stated. Um, so this is why when we're saying problems, I try to make sure that you're saying them in the correct order, that even if we had something like 2 over 10, that we're saying 2 divided by a 10. So because if we said it in the wrong order, then we would be indicating a 10 divided by 2. 1 is 1 fifth, 1 equals 5. So we just want to make sure that we have that correct order down. So some of the questions that you might see or some of the phrases you might see on the homework are going to be as follow. I'm going to do some examples of it. So it says, write the phrase. 15 less than the product of negative four and a number. So for starters, just beginning with it, I know I have a 15 less than. In order to set that up, it means I have to have something before I can then have 15 less than it. So even though in my phrase, the 15 came first, I know it has to come second because it's saying less than something else. Okay, and then that something else is saying the product of negative four and a number. Product means multiplication. And I'm being asked to multiply a negative four by a number. Since we don't know what that number is, we use X in its place. And to show multiplication, we write the coefficient first and then the variable right next to it to show that those two values are being multiplied together. So this is how you would express without the loop-de-loop, 15 less than negative four, the product of negative four and a number. So the next phrase that I was given says the difference of 13, negative 13 and 17 times a number. When I'm given the word difference, I know I have a subtraction problem. And the other nice thing in contrast to this, where it says subtracted from, when I just am given the word difference, the order of the word, the numbers that I'm given is the order I write them in. So the difference of negative 13 and 17 times a number. Well, that means 17 times X, and I write that as a 17X. So this expression looks like negative 13 minus 17X. Okay, so on question number nine on uh, the homework of the, I think it was 2.5, 2.5 order of operations in unit six, it says the phrase is two more than the quotient of negative eight and a number. Okay, so when it's saying it's two more than something, I need to have something first 
before I can then have two more of them. And more is just indicating I'm adding to it. Okay. And what am I adding to two? It's saying negative eight and a number. And we use the word quotient, which means I know it's division. And we write division as fractions. So when you type this into your My Open Math, you'll need to use that extra feature that lets you select uh, a fraction input uh, so that you can plug in the quotient of negative eight and a number. When we have quotients, it also is going in the order in which it's set. So that works out. So negative eight over X plus two is how we would translate that phrase. So now we have the sum of a number and two divided by negative five. Okay, so generally, because it's saying we have this addition problem and then after we find out what that addition problem is, we divide, oftentimes we have to disrupt the order of operations using parentheses. So you might think the sum of a number and two, and this value is then being divided by is it a positive five. It's a negative five. Okay. So this at least gets us a starting point. And when, because we had parentheses, this again, this would be letting me know I'm adding before I'm then dividing whatever that is by finding the quotient. But in algebra, we don't use this guy. So we can go ahead and just say, that I, I'm going to be dividing something by negative five. And what am I dividing that by? What am I getting? The sum, and sum means addition, a number and two. So whatever that is, I will then divide it by five. Okay. So in these types of steps where I have an order of operation up here and a term down here, I just solve them as two separate processes, and then whatever my simplified answers are on top and bottom, I divide those to get a final quotient value.